guys welcome back to my channel unicorn queen and today's video is testing out which glue is better for making slime so make sure to hit that like button and today's challenge is to click it with a piece of slime so just put it onto your screen and remember to subscribe down below as well for more videos and remember if you complete the daily challenge successfully comment down below hashtag i did for possible shout out so let's get on with the video so I have two glues, this one I use normally, and this one I haven't even tested. So I'm going to be testing which glue works better. So I'm first going to uh, put some of this glue. Okay, that should be enough. So I have some glue in there. And at the end I will be doing a slime smoothie, or like I should be. So we're going to be making some fluffy slime. I have my shaving foam here. Okay. I'm going to mix that a bit. So this glue is very thick. It already kind of feels like the slime is forming, but like obviously it's not. Okay. Then I have... Where did I put it? Oh yes, okay. Just a second. Okay, so I have some coloring. I'm going to make this one pink. Well, it might turn out purple because the shaving foam thing is a tiny bit blue. Okay. So I'm going to mix that in. Oh my gosh, this is so fluffy. After I mix this in, I'll show you. Oh, actually, just look at that. And it smells so nice. At the moment, I'm very impressed with this glue. But as I said, I haven't tested, so it might not activate, but hopefully it will. So I'm going to start activating. Oh no! Uh, okay, I'll just. I just dropped this uh, cap in there. Anyway, I'm going to activate it. Okay, so I think it is activating a bit, but not that sure yet. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, so the the, the glue definitely worked, but we need the mm -hmm. ending results before I can actually um, say if it's a good glue or not. Sorry, someone just mes messaged me. Okay. So this one, um, okay, uh, it's still quite sticky, even though it doesn't look sticky at all. But, well, I guess it's still sticking to the bit a little bit, so I'm going to add a bit more contact lens solution. Maybe I just added too much shaving foam, but it definitely is forming. Why is this still sticking? Okay, this is very weird. It's like half slime and half not. I'm going to, I'm, I'm just going to overactivate it a bit because it's not coming together. Okay, now it is. I guess that was just not activating it enough. I'm being quite cautious with how much activator I'm adding in uh, recently because um, I have so many overactivated slimes. Oh, so I definitely never felt a slime anything like this. It's very nice. And I didn't overactivate it. That is so weird. Mm. But I kind of underactivated. It's very jiggly at the moment. So I um I've never felt anything like this. From and I had a lot of slime, like a lot. So I'm just going to add a bit more activator because it seems still a bit sticky. Okay. 
I mean, the glue definitely worked. And it doesn't overactivate easily. So that's a great glue for me because I personally overactivate a lot. So, yeah. It's a little bit sticky. And it's really fun to make. And I love the way it interpreted the paint. It's like a really nice color. Okay, so I'll just leave that there for a bit. Okay. So now we're going to make the same, but with the other glue. I could technically just take one of the other slimes that I made with this. But to make it more fun for you guys, I'll make a new one. Okay. That's a lot of glue. So I have the, I didn't bother to wash the bowl. So I have a lot of the old activator in here already. So this is a bit more messy, but who cares? Okay, I'm just going to scrape the shaving foam in. I made sure I put about the same amount in, otherwise it's not fair because one of the textures might have like more shaving foam and the other one less. So I'm trying to balance it out as much as I can. Okay. I'm going to activate it a bit with a contact lens solution because there was already a lot of borax water in there. So, yeah. Okay. I would say this glue is probably better for me because it overactivates, um, like, uh, less easily. Like, it's really hard to overactivate. It's still, like, it's still a bit sticky. It's quite jiggly. But this one, like, is kind of chunky. So I think overall I like this one more. But, I mean, we haven't finished um, making this slime yet. Okay. It definitely needs some more activate there. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot. Okay. I'm just going to mix this for a bit so you can skip through this part if you would wish to. Oh, no. Okay. That's not, that's not done yet. I'm just going to, because my hands are covered in like glue and stuff so I'm just going to play with this for a tiny bit to, to get rid of all the excess okay that's a really nice one okay I forgot to add this to make it smell nicer and of course to make it smell that one smells real nice hmm. I don't I'm not too keen on this smell Activate it a bit more. Mix, mix, mix. This one's usually this overactivates really easy. I think it is already kind of overactivating, but it's still really chunky and sticky. It's like half overactivated and half not. It's taking a long time. Okay. So while we're doing that, I will add some food coloring or paint, whatever this is. Let's just call it food dye. I think it is. Because it was like this in this cupcake making set or something like that. So I'm pretty sure it's food coloring. Okay. We are getting there. So. It's definitely activating, but it's taking much longer than usual. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm just going to put it onto the table so I can knead it because this is really complicated. But usually this overactivates like in a split second. So I'm not quite sure what's wrong with this. Okay, here we are. Okay, that was quite a bad idea, but... Okay, now I'm going to put that back in the bowl. This has turned into quite a failure. Again, I need to play with this to get rid of all the access. This slime is just so weird. Why isn't it activating fully? Like, I feel like it is, but it's actually not. Like, when you try and play with it, it's just all over the place.
But the most important parts are the ending results, so I'm not going to judge this too much yet. Definitely turned out like twice as big, and I added the nearly like the exact same amount of glue. So if you want to make a bigger slime, I would say this um, Craft Planet uh, PVA glue uh, is probably better for a big slime. And this one, it just stays like the exact, um, you know, the exact size you make it. This really expands. It's like if you put baking powder or something. Okay, a bit more activator. Okay, it's coming together now. Ooh. I love kneading slime. Okay, whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to ask the daily question. You might need to wait a few more minutes uh, to answer this. But the daily question is, which glue do you think is better? So one, uh, just call the blue label, because it says blue label over there. And the other one is Craft Planet. So make sure to comment down below which one you think is better. Like, I don't know. They have really different textures, so it's really hard to, like, say. If they would have the same texture, like, there would be no winner, but this is, like, really, like, a, they have so different textures. And I added the exact the same ingredients. So, I'm not quite sure what happened, but I'll just quickly show you. So, as you can see, this one is, like, twice as big as this. Maybe not exactly twice, but this one's, like, really flubbery, kind of. Quite jiggly, but let's test the pokiness. This one's like, maybe I just put too much shaving foam. Like the glue reacts really weirdly to shaving foam, the Craft Planet glue. It makes it like really um, flubbery. It's kind of like jiggly slime. Yeah, I would say this is more like a, like it is super fluffy, but at the same time, it's such a jiggly texture. Okay, so now I'm going to show you this one. This one is super glossy. Well, not super, but really, like, shiny. And, um, uh, it's just, it turns kind of clear, but this one is, like, stays white. And this one turns this, well, not exactly clear, but, you know, like, a bit more clear. Okay. I really don't know. Okay, well... We'll just do like classifications. So this one, this one with uh, the blue label slime is much better at poking. So that's the winner of poking. But then let's do maybe bubbles. So I'll make some bubbles, some crunchy. So that one's quite crunchy. I'll try making like a crunch bubble with this. Probably this one is the winner for the crunchy bubble noises. Okay. Right now it's tied, so this will be the winner, the slime swirl. Okay. This one is like, this one's much thicker and this one's much thinner. So I would say they're both winners because they both have different things that are better. Like this one is, a, this would be a nice duo, you know, together. And since they would make a nice duo, let's go ahead and mix them together. So make sure you comment down below now, uh, unless you'll have to watch the video again. Like, unless you want to. Because you need to answer the daily question. I mean, you don't need to, but it will give you a shout out if you do. Okay, this is super big. This is probably one of the biggest slimes I have. No, actually no. I have big A-Town slimes over here. All 
I would say together they're overactivated, but by themselves they were not at all. Okay, I'm just going to clean this lid off because it has like glue on it. So. So I would definitely say it feels more like the Craft Planet uh, slime together. So it's probably like a stronger texture. But yeah, I like I like them together combined. I really don't know which one was better. Like they both have different different cons and different pros like the craft planet one was really bad at poking but then it was really bubbly and the blue label one um was super pokey but it wasn't that bubbly and together they make a quite nice slime okay and the second question of the day is which type of slime is this i know the answer to this but you have to See if you can guess, or if you're as big of a slime pro as me. Okay. So I'd say this is a very fun video, and I really missed doing videos with you guys for that week, but and now we're back on track, and I'm going to celebrate it with a bit of glitter. Okay, that was a lot of glitter. But you know, as I always say, you can never have too much glitter. Okay, gonna mix that glitter in. Okay, now I want to try like a big poking, so I just have this container. So like it's semi pokeable because I mix a really pokey slime and a not pokey slime. So they're, it's quite pokey. Okay, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye.